Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, October 28th. Uh, we got a few economic news releases to go over today. We'll start off with the durable goods orders for the month of September. So back in August, if you recall, we had a negative 18.3%, which is not very good. A lot of these uh, get obscured uh, due to you know large ticket items like airplane orders and stuff like that. Uh, the forecast for this month, uh, for September anyways, was 0.2%. And it still came in at negative at 1.3%. So uh, not so good right there. Cash show home prices, 6.7 uh, back in July. And August came in at 5.6. So home prices still going up, but at a much more modest pace than what we've been seeing in the la last year. Uh, so we're still seeing that trending downwards a little bit. Uh, consumer confidence, uh, we had 89 on the reading back in uh, September. Uh, October was supposed to pull back the forecast, and actually it was the best number we've seen in about seven years at 94.5 for the month of October. So p that means basically people are feeling much more comfortable where uh, the economy is heading, where wages and everything else. Uh, so people are feeling much more confident where things are moving. Right now, the stock market's up, even though the um, the mixed bag of news are, but it's pretty much gearing up towards for tomorrow because we have the, today's the beginning of the FOMC, and tomorrow they'll have their announcement at 11:15 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, again, uh, they expect uh, this to, the QE3 to be wrapped up. Uh, they do expect some more dovish comments uh, in terms of you know any rate possible rate hikes. So be be uh, a little be cautious heading into tomorrow in case maybe they do get more of a conservative uh, view and maybe get a little bit hawkish. That might indicate possibly uh, uh, raising rates sooner than they expect. So that could uh, you know, uh, create a little havoc in the markets. Uh, obviously, that would help us out on the bond market, but, uh, but the stock market will like it if they uh, keep uh, showing that the rates continue to remain low. Meanwhile, in the bond market, we're down about uh, three basis points. So we are um, we do have a little bit of worse in pricing uh, when you factor the two days here because we went down yesterday as well as today. So if you look at from where we left on Friday, we're down a little bit. Uh, as from yesterday, not really enough to make a difference in our pricing. All right. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, again, uh, will be the big day with the Fed FOMC announcement at about 11 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so this that will be the big um, news uh, for this week, and see what the wording does. So they do expect. Remember, they will expect uh, the coin of easing to be wrapped up, and uh, there's going to be a phrase, and they're going to be watching carefully. The considerable in terms of watching the interest rates in considerable time. So if any of those things changes, any surprises, uh, expect uh, a lot of volatility. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow.